Although Time Lords usually favored humanoid forms in regeneration, this was not universal. One Time Lord, Lord Cardinal Zero, regenerated into an avian life form as a result of the poison which triggered the regenerative process. Audio. Spring. When Romana regenerated from her first to second incarnation, the fourth doctor advised her not to wear Princess Astra's body and to try another body. Before once again assuming Astra's form, she tried various others, including a short blue humanoid and an extremely tall woman. TV. Destiny of the Daleks. Although according to another source, this particular episode was just the TARDIS Matrix playing a trick on the Doctor. Prose. The lying old witch in the wardrobe. Although all of the Doctor's known bodies could pass for human but for minor internal differences, their eleventh incarnation stated clearly that he could become anything. TV. Death of the Doctor. And the ninth Doctor once suggested that two heads or even no head were both possible. TV. The parting of the ways. Shortly after regenerating, the eleventh Doctor had even made it a priority, even amidst serious damage to his TARDIS, to immediately conduct a physical inventory to make sure he still had two legs, both hearts and sufficient fingers, eyes, ears, a nose, chin and hair. TV. The End of Time. The Tenth Doctor, upon meeting a Scythra Queen inside a future Doctor's TARDIS control room, briefly wondered if she was the future incarnation of himself that he had run into, although he was soon proven wrong. Comic. Alternating current. During the war in heaven, regeneration into extremely non-humanoid bodies became the norm for members of the house military. Although bodies without obvious facial features were considered informal, this was the case even for a strategist like in Taradora. However, the same tendencies were implemented in the Regan INF soldiers, members of the lesser species who had been granted regeneration to serve as disposable foot soldiers for the great houses, who often resented having no choice but to transform into gigantic, living weapons upon death. Prose. The Book of the War. At least one homeworlder soldier in the house military, who fought in the Battle of Kratosi Fields, shared this mindset. Upon beginning to regenerate from a humanoid form into a monstrous form with razor-sharp mandibles where her throat should have been, she broke down sobbing, begging all who would hear her to help her not to change. Prose. Going once, going twice.